very good morning to all this is p kavita assistant professor triple department from rmd engineering college and i handle power plant engineering for second year triple e so first now let us look at the wind energy system so in unit 4 we have power from renewable energy sources and wind energy is one of those renewable sources and how is wind caused by nature is it is because of the uneven heating up of the sun so in one place there is high heat energy and in the other place there is very less heat energy so this uneven hair is going to create a pressure difference because of which we get natural wind so from wind energy we can retrieve electricity so from the kinetic energy of the wind electricity can be retrieved and these are the characteristics of wind energy since it does not require any fuel consumption it does not pollute the atmosphere so it is considered to be a very clean energy and it is also a renewable in nature it can it has the ability to replenish itself and there is no requirement for any transportation of fuel or any disposal of wastage so wind energy is produced on small scale which is cheap but it is competitive with conventional power generating system which produced on large scale so on the whole when we look at the renewable energy sources they have very low energy density so compared to the non renewable energy sources the amount of energy that is obtained from the renewable energy sources requires very high initial investment and a very huge uh, land area is also required and the advantages of wind power it is very clean it is very freely available there is no investment co cost in the fuel or in the waste disposal or it doesn't create any harm to the atmosphere and placeability wherever the resource is available the wind energy uh, power system can be installed it is domestic and it uh, requires remote area supply and when we look at the negative side of it the disadvantages it is not reliable because wind is not going to be continuously constant so it is not reliable so reliability is a problem in case of all the renewable energy sources and so it is the case even with wind energy power plants and the initial investment cost is going to be very high and when there is a rotating or a moving part in the power system it is going to create a lot of noise and it can cause some harm to the wildlife because of the noise and because when it is um, circulating some birds can get affected and it is very unpredictable applications it can be used for generating electricity it can be used for pumping water can be used for grinding grains and it is used in sawmill industries and there are various applications and one more difference between a wind power plant and a windmill is when we retrieve electricity from the wind energy it is called as a wind power plant and when the wind turbine blades are rotating when we make use of that mechanical energy to do some other useful work it is called as a windmill and we have three different types one is called as the moving blade type the second one is savonius type and the third one is darius type and we will see each of these types in detail now so first looking at the multi blade type this is one of the most uh, very frequently or very commonly seen type of uh, wind turbine since it is um, looking like a normal ceiling fan it has got more number of blades somewhere between 15 blades to 20 blades and the initial investment co investment cost is very high because each blade is of almost like 10 lakh rupees so the initial investment cost is going to be very high so we usually go for either a two blade system or a three blade system not more than that and this multi blade type is of a um, horizontal type wind turbine and we will see why it is called as a horizontal type wind turbine and it is mostly used in windmills it has 15 to 20 blades and the blades run at a speed of 60 to 80 rpm second one is the savonius type wind turbine where it, the, the construction looks like two c shaped blades placed at the edges or three shape, three blades placed at the edges since all the blades are placed at were connected at one end what happens is when wind hits on any of the blades there is a pressure difference created in the wind turbines so because of the pressure difference there is a torque created which initiates a rotation in the wind turbines so this is one practical uh, uh, photograph of a savonius type wind blade where the pressure difference is created and it starts rotating on its own so in savonius type we have hollow circular cylinder sliced in halves and the halves are mounted on vertical shaft with gap in between and it requires a long surface area in order to retrieve high power and the rotation is because of the pressure difference which creates a torque it is also self starting low speed and it has very low efficiency and second one is darius type and this is the darius type wind turbine 
both the edges of the turbine blades are connected to each other and in the same way like the previous case in the, like the Savonius type even in this type what happens is when the wind hits on the blades there is a pressure difference that is created because of which torque is created and the wind blade starts rotating to produce electricity. So it requires a very large surface area and it also looks like an egg beater and it has like two or three blades and now the blades are in airfoil shape so that when the wind is hitting on the airfoil shape there is a pressure difference and easily the blades start rotating it is not self starting it produces very high speed high efficiency and low capital cost compared to the other two types. So this is the photograph of a wind turbine, uh, Darius type wind turbine. And the various parts of a wind turbine now, we have the wind turbine or the wind blades and the rotor, windmill head, which is electrical generator. Usually it is a permanent magnet alternator or an induction generator or brush DC generator. And then we have a supporting structure over which the components are all mounted. And we have two major types of wind turbine. First one is called as the horizontal axis wind machine. And the second one is called as the vertical axis wind machine. So in, why, is, why is this one called as an horizontal axis wind machine is because this is called as the hub. To the hub is where the wind blades are connected. So these are the wind blades. And then we have a, a mini sha main shaft to which we connect the gearbox. And then we have a now brake system and then another shaft. And then we have a generator over here. All these components are mounted over the tower structure or the supporting structure. So the supporting structure should have uh, should have to be very uh, should have very high mechanical strength so that all these components can be mounted over it and it has the ability to withstand the weight of all the components even when there is very high wind. So to the uh, why is it called as an horizontal axis wind turbine is because the mechanical energy which is generated by the wind blade rotation has been transferred to the shaft over here. So as soon as the wind hits on the blade, there is a pressure difference that is created and the wind blades are going to be in airfoil shape. So due to the pressure difference, the wind blade starts rotating and that rotation is called as the mechanical energy, which is transferred to the main shaft. So that rotation is probably somewhere between 60 to 80 RPM. And this main shaft is also called as a low speed shaft where it transfers all the mechanical energy to the gearbox. And the main function of a gearbox is to transfer the low speed to high speed rotation. So the 60 to 80 RPM will be converted into 1500 RPM, which is the required speed for the generators to produce electricity. So the 1500 RPM is uh, getting converted in this gearbox. And from this gearbox to the generator, we have the high speed shaft. Since this speed is only going to be 60 to 80 RPM and this one is going to be 1500 RPM, this main shaft is also called as a low speed shaft and this shaft is also called as a high speed shaft. And to this shaft, we connect the generators which will obtain all the mechanical energy and convert it into electrical energy which is then transmitted to through the transmission lines. And we have something called as the brake over here. So what is a brake is the, winds, uh, the wind uh, speed that is tolerable will be somewhere around um, 15 to 20 meters per second when there is a very high wind speed uh, in case of a cyclone in case of a hurricane and all when there is an extremely high wind speed there are more chances for the blades to get damaged so in order to protect your wind turbines this brake system will initiate a mechanism which will stop the operation or the uh, rotation of the wind blades so in case of any emergencies in order to shut down the wind turbines all of a sudden this brake system or this brake mechanism has been used and we know that the wind speed is not going to be constant throughout and so does the wind direction. So depending upon the wind direction, we have the we have two mechanisms for changing the wind turbine uh, directions. So in one case, we have the hub which is going to turn towards the wind speed so that the wind speed hits on the blades and the rotation is initiated. And in the second case, we have the wind blades which itself will uh, uh, you know uh, do some axial movement change towards the direction of the wind speed, towards the direction of the wind, so that the pressure difference will be created and the blades can start rotating. So that mechanism is also available. One mechanism is the hub, it's hub along with the wind blades rotating against the direction of the wind. And in the second case, the wind blades alone will do an axial movement. So these are the types of uh, uh, you know changes which can be made in the wind blades so that the wind turbine always faces the direction of the wind. And um, 
that is why this is called as an horizontal axis wind machine because mechanical energy has been horizontally transferred to the gearbox through this main shaft and from the gearbox it is transferred to the generator through the high speed shaft since it is an horizontal movement it is called termed as an horizontal axis wind machine second one is called as the vertical axis wind machine where we have three different types of vertical axis wind machines first one is the savonius type second one is darius type and third one is h rotor type so we already saw the savonius and darius type already saw the savonius and darius type and even in case of h rotor type why is it called as an h rotor type is because of the shape it looks like a h uh, letter h and that is why it is called as a h type rotor so we have four, totally four different types of wind turbines whereas in case of horizontal axis wind turbine this is the most frequently or very commonly uh, seen type of wind turbine and in case of the, the vertical axis wind turbine why is it called as a vertical axis is because the rotation takes place and the mechanical energy obtained is given to the gearbox which is given to a generator in vertical directions so in savonius type we have the two c shaped or the two half sliced uh, blades connected at one end and in the darius type we have the blades connected at both ends and in the h rotor type we have usually two or three or four types of blades so whenever the wind hits on the turbine blades what happens is there is a pressure difference which is created due to which a torque is produced so when there is a torque there is going to be a rotation and when comparing this with the horizontal axis wind turbine in case of horizontal axis we require a tall tower structure over which all the other main components are placed so that the tower structure has to be very strong enough and properly grounded so that it can uh, withstand the weight of all the components even during winds heavy wind whereas in case of the savonius darius and the h rotor a tall uh, tower is not required it is all placed above the ground level so uh, the location needs to be uh, make, make sure that there is enough wind in that location so that all these vertical axis wind turbines can be placed thank you